Maui power! It might look like Guinness, but it definitely doesn't taste oh, like Guinness. Gross. Yeah, morning all. Today is chopping day, biggest day of the year. And last night, it rained, which is always great, said no one ever, ever, ever. Triple ever. But yeah, anyway, we are chopping today. We're meant to be, the rain's coming at 10, so we might move chopping till tomorrow. It looks pretty good between six o'clock tonight till six, seven o'clock tomorrow. So it might be a busy old day tomorrow. But just in case the guys get 20, 30 acres in, we are going to get Silas Comp ready. Ready to prepare bed to fail. Right, I'm gonna get Silas up. You're gonna be amazed. That needs to go there. Those things that I've put on eBay, they haven't really shifted. Bit of a nightmare. Need to be moved. And we'll do that in three, two, one. Boom! Got rid of the Selco, got rid of everything there. Just needs a little bit of a clean up. And do you know what I didn't get rid of? And what came and what brought to me? The rain. And yeah, so the rain came. Dad's just spoken to Dave and he said, don't bother, we'll have a look after lunch. Fingers crossed, everyone goes. He's still confident, or delusional. Take your pick, whatever, but I do need to scrape it out. But there's a couple of jobs I could do on the farm. Anyway, so I need to get them done. Obviously we've emptied this, got rid of all the bad silage. Cell goes there. <sighs> moan dry, it's moan dry. We might be all right. Hey, it's one o'clock. The big orange thing's out, it's nearly dry. Look at that. They're drying up. The weather doesn't look good in an hour or two, but you know, it's a bit of hope. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I'll tell you in a minute. I have never in my life watched the weather more on my phone, ever. So the rain's coming around three to four, gonna be bad at six, so I don't know if we'll chop today. Set the clamp up, ready for chopping, and I have a serious surprise coming. Like, I got an option of something, one or the other. I went with one, I'll explain why. This is gonna be insane, like insane. So in between this, I'm, if you see this video, this is a surprise video that's coming out later on. Dad's going. He says it's not gonna rain. It's been thunder and lightning every two seconds. He's going. Oh, that's a bad idea. The ball is over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came and failed the test, you met the best, expected chess, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I cropped you out with no apologies. I am no hope, the heart, the fate, the spark, the one who will fulfill the prophecy. I just been counting, never lounging, climbing up mountains, bouncing back. Step in the ring of us, just step back. Dale learn hot when I get on the track. I like it louder the most, watching all these sheep just by down to the goat. If I can't decide, I'ma probably get both. We don't celebrate, but right now I'm a toast, resurrect the ghost. Outside, outside, looking at the stars, staring with my mouth wide. Yes! Logan gave me a ring, the man, the one and only, Ollie Bloggs, was like, do you ever, do you ever play with a fast track? He gave me the choice, fast track or fen, and we did put it to a vote, didn't we? Yeah, um, <laughs> the fen one. The fen one. <laughs> so, for the reason we went for the fast track is because... It's British. It's British, that's the big one. And the other thing, I am a dairy farmer who's probably never in his life going to have a chance to drive a fast track. So I thought when the opportunity's there, what take about an hour and a half? Something like that, yeah. There was really bad roadworks. And we might have just missed the rain. Yeah, I've driven through it all the way. It's the trailer's probably about that full in water. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Richard Weston, 18 ton trailer with a fast track on set. This is gonna be the best first cut chopping video ever. <laughs> And we, we haven't had any of it. We had no rain, apart from this morning. So I'm sweating it out before we left. And then on the way back. Must have been an inch in it, must have been all over. Oh, so we've just missed that. And that's what's coming, I think. Is that right? I think. It's come out for about a minute. I think we've just missed it, that's where it is. So that's where we're driving it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all coming this way, isn't it? We might get a little bit at the end. It was like that. Yes, right? come on. Right? Just this last little bit. It's making it rain. Didn't need this, we were getting dry. Ah! So this video has been an absolute roller coaster of emotions because look at it now. Dad's giving up. We've given up. Just about to go five o'clock. Let's try again tomorrow. This is on a grass that's down. This is so bad. Oh, not gonna lie. I thought that would lift up a little bit differently. I think 
We're gonna need this. Pipe is down. This year it's gonna be super important. There's a little bit of Selco left. That's what the water's getting held with. It's not too bad, it adds protein, I guess. Clean as we can get it. Dad's tedding out. And now, probably the most important thing is this. So every year, we put additive on. Additive helps preserve the grass. Every year, for the past four years, it's been dry. This year, it's not gonna be dry. I complain every year about the cost of this stuff, but this is the year. This is the year that this stuff is gonna be super important. That's a nice 300 quid spent. So again, we've been using this product for about four years, it's called Optisize Extra. We like it, it's done really well for us, but this year it's really gonna show if it is a good product because of the grass. Dad's tedding now, hopefully it'll dry up. Everything's done, the pipe's out, the clamp's clear, everything's out of the way, the cows are just getting fed now, so that's done. Tractor's ready, additive's ready. Now, just wait for the contractors. And the longer they wait, the better really, because it needs to dry. It's gonna work, it's gonna work this year. Dad has decided he wants it on thick because it's wet as he's telling out now. So I'll put in two more pots in to do five more acres down the bottom. Let's go. Right boys and girls. Yes! Show everything works. Both in flow, that makes sense. Very nervous. Right, let's see how I get on. Let's get chopping 2022. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a belly of tea The winds blew up her bow up down Oh below my bully boys blow See now been two weeks from shore And down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the well man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tide is done We'll take our leave and go First bit of good news, people. Stuart just said it's not as wet as he thought. Come on, we're in. That'll do. The only thing with this field, which I told Stuart, and that's why he's just stopped now. First field, Dad lost three mower blades in the JF. Was it because I didn't put them in correctly? Probably, but there's something we've got to wear, watch out for. I'm going to guess it at the end as well. So we stopped twice. Hopefully those two little bits of grass is um, the bits that were the bits we didn't want. We just had a little bit of a chat with Stuart. We had to stop again. He likes me being a little bit closer. He's a big trailer. Well, I think it's big. He says it's not too big. This is great. It's so fast. April, it struggles with going like 4K chopping. So it struggles to just go that slow. Make you feel like you're on and off it a little bit. You see what I mean? Yeah, windfall. We're right at the end. Don't roll the trailer, Thomas. That's the only thing you gotta think about as well with this big trailer. It does put fear into me. So the probably the worst tractor drive out of everybody. That's the biggest tractor with the biggest trailer. Who thought this was a good idea? Yeah boy! We're going! Woo! <laughs> oh yes! 
Oh, there we go. That means we've gone out of four-wheel drive, as in four-wheel steer, sorry. Oh, this is what we struggled with last time, getting up here. Oh, we're slipping out the back end. We're missing the gates. Can she get up? She's spinning. She's spinning. This is the only issue. Driving to the lamp. We're driving through muck. Dad's going to hate this. That's the only issue with the rain. You know, get it all on the tyres. And then we're going to drive in the clamp with those dirty tyres. It's just not great. What can you do? It's mowing, it's done. It's just it's life. It's just annoying. Third load. 10 acres done. Getting used to it. Obviously, we've got Dave back. Ash is back from the start. It's going to be a big crop, so it's going to be lots of lots of squashing. Dad loves this kit. He thinks it's great. So we've saved the carter again. So Ash is back with his big, I can't remember what it was called, roller thing um, just so we can compress it down because we're gonna have a lot of grass that's gonna come in here. Dave said I did really well with my driving this because obviously it's a big unit this look at the size of the thing. I just spoke to Ollie as well and Richard Weston apparently the people who do this very generous with the sizes it's 18 ton it might just be a little bit bigger I don't know. We got the thumbs up a legendary thumbs up and we're going to be able to do this. Are we going to be able to do this turn? Probably not. I'm going to go up that run. I need to take my shoe off. So instead of going over this row, I'll just go round. Saves jackknifing anything. Touch wood, touch wood. Now we power! But now we're partying, turning out, rolling up, chopping grass, butt raking, rolling it. We're doing it all! Oh, so good. did sell her the buddy seat. It's great. The great buddy seat. It's really gone there. Yeah, compared to John Deere in the case. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I just said to Tom, I was like, I feel like we're in the cinema. Like, I'm just ready for watching film. We're just in the 20 acre now. Whoops. No, luckily Stuart knows where he's going. Yeah, just in the 20 acre now. We're just about to finish it. So we've 30 acres. Seems to have gone quite well. It's a little bit murky. You can say it's the sunniest days. Overcast. It's it? humid as well. Humid. It's close. So what John starts doing, I'm going to guess that Dad's had a chat with him without having a chat with Dad. Dad's tedding out like a man possessed. He's flying. I've never seen him go so fast, to be honest. And then John's really holding back until he rows it up. Gives the grass the most amount of time to dry out as a carpet on the ground. And then it's coming up. Stuart's saying it's drier than he thought, which is great. 
and it seems to be coming in really nicely. This trail, like I said, once, twice, three times a Sorry. Now we've got a bit of metal stuck in there. This could be one of Dad's blades. Let's have a chat with Stuart, make sure everything is tickety-boo. So that's what stopped it. That's called Dad's tether. Well, it's hooked tines, it's obviously snapped off. I don't know if he knows it. Stop I think it. it senses it though. Yeah, it's all on magnets. Because it cuts it into such a fine, fine chop. When if it does go through it, they blow him up because they're so tight and they're so under, they're under so much pressure. So it's great that we found it. Happy. This is where the fast track's great. So normally, like in the hurley bit, I'm flicking up gears all the time and I'm just this. You just put your. Would you ever down. consider getting one of these? Things? No, I don't think so. I think the smallest one they do is like 180 horsepower. Uh, so that's a great question that Joe asked and obviously Ollie was really kind to let me have uh, a go in it. He literally gave me a choice of Fent JCB on my Instagram and Snapchat. I posted them, did a little poll and was like, which one should I get? And 61% of people said Fender, 39% said JCB. Some said JCB because it's a British made, X, Y, and Z, and it's really cool. But I kind of see it as like, I am a small farmer. We're milking 120 cows. And when in my life, like four or five years ago, before YouTube, would I have ever thought I would have the chance to drive a JCB? So I had to take it. I know I asked everyone and I went against everyone. I'm sorry for doing the poll, but I thought I've just got that opportunity to do it. So uh, I went for the JCB. All he did say, if he's around, the second cut we can bring the fence and do that but i'd say the opportunity and this is probably it's so cool it, it's a very nice volley to just bob it around the hour and half an hour trip so yeah so that's why i chose jcb super cool and um yeah i can have a good time for the next two days there we go that's 20 acre done uh, not many tops not many tops did a well good done. job Wonder uh, what my field will be like. Hey, hey. Hopefully no tops. No tops, don't want the tops. <laughs> Have you not seen what's outside? The sun is shining. It's a shining. It's shining. Oh. The grass is drying. It takes a bit of pulling up this hill. So the class on the clamp has broken down. Sorry about the gearing. Rick and Bees are here, so I think they'll fix it. But if not, this might have to go on that big roller because Dave just can't keep up with the amount of grass coming in. And the other thing as well, Going into seven acre now, and in the top corner, I can't get my drone here because of water. And I don't have the pass on my new drone, which is a bit of a nightmare. I'm about to see the corner that I hate. Hate this corner. You're about to witness something either very good or very poor. Luckily, we've got Stuart because he's really good and I'm really bad. The big class on the clamp has broken down with a big roll. Rickabees are at the class now. If they can't get it going, can they put the roller on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm Cheers. Anyway, what a man. It was really interesting again. My cows over there, they are all going to the gate because it's just half three now. So we start milking. It's going to rain at five o'clock, six o'clock. So we're going to keep going us three until it rains. Dad might take over. I don't know. Um, and then when it rains, we can milk cows. Dad says you can milk cows in the rain. You can't chop grass, which is fair dues. So we're going to keep going until we get rained off because it looks like it's coming. I think we've got two, three more fields tended out. Chop them. That will be it for us, I think, today. Unless the rain misses us, but it looks very, very unlikely. So that was the last load I'm gonna do with the fast track. The class has broken, which is not good. Dave really needs that roller on the clamp. He said, I'm struggling without it. This is the biggest horsepower tractor that will pull it. So it's gonna go on the clamp for an hour or two, just to give Ash, a bit of a hand. What's more important, me driving a fast track, which I've done today, or we get good grass for the next six months of winter. I know which one I'm gonna pick. First bit on.
Hey, glad we stopped when we did. Rainbow, that. Huh? Cool, that is. It is about half eight in the morning. Didn't you guys been on the clamp around nearly an hour? Just rolling, just full up. There are spots we could probably fit a bit more there. There's a lot in the middle here. There's a bit of dip. There's quite a bit of space there. Dave's thinking we can get a few more loads in here. Like there's a hole here. We'll need doing because it'll only hold water. Come in drier than we thought it was going to come in. Stuart was saying it was, it was drier as we got on with the day. And at the end it started drizzling, so a couple of damp her loads. Um, obviously I started milking because it didn't make sense to me not to do really, because I wasn't really doing much. We've still got five fields left to do. A couple more loads are going to come into here and then we're going to start over the road. Uh, you can see the effluent coming out and that's why we love having a drain down the side so I can catch it and get rid of it. It's going to be a little bit damper than normal. Um, we've put a lot of additive on just to make sure it definitely cures it. Look at that, there's loads of room yet. I, was, I did have a debate with Dad. I don't know what you guys think as well. Does grass come in too fast these days? And Dad said no when the roller's on. When the roller's on, you're all right. When it's not, it probably does. He was just struggling with that JCB. It's not made for this job, really. I was speaking to Ollie yesterday and he said it's all about the fast tracks are balanced really well. Doing a job like this, going up the hill, he was really struggling with. But then when he got on top, he was all right. Need bigger track tires, a rolling radius to get on top of it. But anywho, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we're going to do part two next time because I think this video is long enough. Fingers crossed, all goes to plan. I get back in the JCB. Ginger Warrior is happy rolling this clamp. I didn't think there was a lot more space in there, but I think there is. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you in the next one. See you in a bit. Bye. So the warrior wanted to say a couple of last final words about the first day, day one. Day one, super day, considering the conditions, considering the night before when it must have lashed it down. I mean, hoofing. <laughs> Anyone oh, just going? dropped that trailer trail off. off. Oh, gee, I dropped the trail off. Just watch Ollie when he left here. Uh, Ollie blogs. Just please go and have a look at Ollie. So when he left Burke's farm and he dropped us the tractor and trail off, just see the rain what he was driving it? through. The it was Monday. For 16th of May? Yeah, it was Monday. 16th. Monday 16th the 16th. Watch his vlog. From his then. vlog. And yeah. the end of it just show just how what rain we had. And we had about an hour and a half of that torrential rain. Like you're out for 30 minutes, you're wet. Oh, out for 30 seconds, you're wet. Oh, yes. And I told you, we've just rolled this now, and I'm really pleased how it's rolled down again. A, roll, a sad rolling person. Because because it's to the top, I've used my tractor and I've sort of like pushed it out like a pizza base, pushed it out to the corners so that it's solid all the way. And I've got the slope on the front, even though it was a very, very steep. You can put a bit more on now and just make it nice and crowded on top. Yeah, just to a shed couple the of spots to finish yeah, up. Yeah, bits and pieces up the top there. Already the juice that's coming out, and this is out the sap, a bit of the rain. As good as it looks, it's, it's, it's acid. Don't taste it, you idiot. Yeah. Don't do that at home, kids. No, it might look like Guinness, but it definitely doesn't taste oh, like Guinness. Gross. Definitely doesn't taste like Guinness. And anyway, he wanted his final bit. Let's Hope go. you enjoy it. We'll see you in part two, maybe. Yeah. Well, you'll find out. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye.